Here we have a function f of x equals 7x cubed natural log x and we want to find first the derivative of the function and second the tangent line at x equal e. So let's start by differentiating. I see I have the product of two functions right here so I'm going to differentiate using the product rule. So the first 7x cubed times the derivative of the second 1 over x plus the second natural log x times the derivative of the first, which is going to be 21x squared. Now, this 21x squared is multiplied times this whole function, not just times x right here. So let's see, I can simplify that a little bit. 7x squared plus 21x squared natural log x. And I'll, I guess I can simplify a little further. Let's take a 7x squared out of each term. I'll factor that out, 7x squared. What's left is 1 plus 3 natural log x. Okay, so there's my derived function for any value of x. Now I want to find the tangent line to this function right here when x is equal to e. So to do that, I need two things, the slope and a point on the line, so I can substitute into my point-slope form of the equation of a line. So first of all, the slope is just the derivative evaluated at x equal e. So in that case, m, the slope is f prime of e. So I'll substitute e into this expression, 7e squared times 1 plus 3 natural log e. And now I can simplify because I know that the natural log of e is just the number 1. So this is the number 1 times 3 is 3 plus 1 is 4. So 4 times 7e to the second is going to be 28e to the second. So there's my slope, and that's going to go right here in the equation of this line. So the next thing I need is a point on the line. To find a point on the line, I'll go back to my original function and find the y value when x is equal to e. So I find just f of e. I'll substitute e for x here, 7 e cubed natural log e, and again I have that identity, natural log e is just 1, so 1 times this is just 7e cubed. So that means that the point e, 7e cubed, is on this line. So there I have a point on the line, here I have the slope of the line, I substitute this in for m, I substitute this in for x1 and this for y1, and I'll have the equation of that line. So y minus y1, 7e cubed, equals m, which is 28e squared, times x minus x1, which is e. Okay, and then I'll multiply that out. Let's see. Let's just multiply out over here. 28e squared times x is 28e squared x. And then 28e squared times e is going to be minus 28 e cubed. So if I add 7 e cubed to both sides, my equation is going to look like this. y equals 28 e squared x. That's this right here. And then when I add 7 e cubed to both sides, I'm going to have minus 21 e cubed right here. So I can get a decimal approximation to this if I want by just using my calculator and putting in a value for e right here and multiplying this out. Um, but in any case, this is the equation of the line tangent to this curve at the point x equal e. This is the slope of the line, 28e squared, and this is the y-intercept, minus 21e to the third.